hi everyone welcome back again to my channel i hope you all are doing amazing in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can get rid of ringworm and also pityriasis versicolor so i'll share with you how you can get rid of this stuff because i have seen this on people a lot like full-grown adults i have seen this more especially the pityriasis uh, versicolor i have seen it a lot on so many grown adults and it is really a very bad um picture to give to yourself to anyone seeing you for the very first time like i've seen a lot of people from a distance they look so put together they look so pink but coming really close to you like you're having a very close look on their skin you're seeing this uh, uh pityriasis versicolor on the side of their ears like this at the back of their ears on their shoulders on their neck and it is not like it screams that you have a poor personal hygiene and that is not good at all so if you know someone that has this stuff on their body just share this video with them because i believe it's going to be really helpful i'm going to share with you what you can buy from the pharmacy that is really really effective how you can use it and how you can make sure that you don't fall back to this skin infection again okay but first you need to be aware of what you are doing that is causing this stuff on your skin you need to know what is it that i'm doing that is making me to develop this uh, skin infection and i'm going to put you through on the most common things that can cause this uh, ringworm or pityriasis versicolor the first one on my list is when you don't shower properly or regularly there are some people that okay i will understand you if you don't have the time the luxury of time to have your shower twice in a day morning and night maybe in the morning you're in a hurry to go out and you'll be like okay in the evening i'll take my bath but what i don't understand is how you come back in the evening and you're spending just two minutes in the bathroom you just go in there pour water on your body rub soap on your body and you are out that is not the right way to treat your skin after spending the whole day you know outside you need to properly wash your skin if your one bath is going to be one bath let it be worth it take your time use a good sponge use an exfoliating sponge that will help you to get rid of all the dirt that has been sticking on your skin you know throughout the whole day don't use any soft sponge because it will not help you to really exfoliate those dirt off your skin and you need a good soap as well don't go and use all those soap that we use in washing plates all those red soap or green soap those kind of soap where i come from we call it in chankata all this locally made soap that is not really really effective in getting rid of dirt and oils and all that from your skin so you will need a good soap that will help you to wash your skin properly and if you have the time please take your bath morning and night but if you don't have the time let that one bath you're going to have in the evening be really worth it that way you're making sure that your skin is super super clean okay the second one is also related to not bathing well or you know your bathing routine and that is using a dirty towel some people know how to use one towel for one month and that is terribly bad like they don't even wash it in between that one month they just use it back to back from day one to the day um 30th of the end of the month which is so bad do not do it please okay try to wash your towels at least once in a week if you are that tired you know to do all this uh, cleaning and washing just try to do it once in a week get like three towels that you will use you know when you're going to be washing the one you're currently using you have a new one that you're going to be using while you are washing the one you just finished using okay and the next point is some people have this uh, bad habit of after cleaning their body you know the towel will be damp and to just dump it at the corner of their room and they are off this is another point that will give you ringworm or pityriasis versicolor if you are not careful it's a matter of time you might not you know see it immediately on your skin and you think oh yeah everything is okay until one day you start seeing it appearing on your skin and you'll be like how so this is one way that you can get this stuff on your skin you know when you finish wiping your body with a towel please try to air dry it or you sun dry it anyhow you can manage to make sure that the water on the towel dries out just do it do not dump your towel at a particular place in your room and then you're back in the evening after having your bath you're going to pick the same towel that you've dumped all day in the room you know with the wetness the dampness and you're picking it up again to wipe on your body see fungi love those kind of environment it helps them to grow so if you keep doing that you're already inviting bacteria and fungus to come and do their thing and before you know it they are not doing it on your skin which you don't want like it's really really embarrassing as a full-grown adult you are outside and somebody is seeing this uh, vasicol on your skin or, or seeing ring on your skin it is not a good sight to look at at all so please do not do it okay the next point on my list that can make you to have this skin infection is when you wear dirty clothes 
some people also have a very bad habit of saying okay i wear this cloth three times if i wash it and you have been using this cloth to go out like three good times and you and you want to keep wearing it it is wrong please wear your clothes once wear it once and keep it in your laundry so that that way you will not go back to wear it again if you wear dirty clothes that you've sweated on chances are that you're going to put in back bacteria that has been on that cloth back into your skin and that is not a good way to treat your skin okay so make sure that your clothes are properly washed the next point on my list that can make you to have these skin infections is when you are sharing personal um, personal items a lot with other people there are some people that love to share things with other people i'm not saying that it's wrong to share things but there are things that you should not be sharing with everybody because they are quite personal and personal thing is a personal thing no matter how much you love this person and all that especially if this person is not someone that cares about their personal hygiene as well it is wrong for you to share your personal um, item with them but if it's someone that knows how to like that values personal hygiene that sees the importance of being neat and being clean then you can share something with them but not something important as our underwears and all that but you know your clothes your dresses you can share with somebody but let that person be someone that also knows how to be how to be neat if you're going to be sharing any item with somebody let it be someone who knows how to take care of their skin so they don't infect you with any germs or bacteria that is already growing on their own skin okay and speaking of personal belongings things like clipper hair clipper or razor blade or scissors anything that you use on your skin that is really really sharp you also don't need to share it with somebody else okay when you're going to cut your hair in the salon try to get your own clipper i always advise all the men in my life to try to get a clipper for themselves don't go to the salon and they're using the same um, clipper they use for every other person that comes in there they are using it on your on your hair as well that is totally wrong that's how they spread diseases and germs even though they sterilize it but somehow you still get to get these germs on your hair and you don't even want to start dealing with that so in order not to get into that kind of frustrating um situation just get your own clipper that will save you from a lot of problems okay now coming to the next point is when you lie down on a dirty surface some people can put their skin on just anything and anywhere and they feel totally fine with it that could give you ringworm or uh, pityriasis vasicolor please do not put your skin on just any surface on just anything and you try to clear up that place you want to lie down use a detail to wipe that place or use a clean bed sheet and spray on top of that place before you lie down on it don't just put your skin on just anything and then you're wondering why you're getting this one and that one on your skin that is a sure way of you introducing germs on your skin without you even knowing it okay so these are the poor personal hygiene that you could be doing that can give you ringworm or pityriasis vascular vascular so please try to work on your personal hygiene that way when you are treating this stuff you are not going to be getting it back again on your skin and you can enjoy your confidence in peace you know and have peace of mind when you are going out okay now coming to the treatment you can give to your skin concerning this two skin concern i highly recommend you get nixodem cream or nixodem ointment any of these that you can get is pretty pretty very very effective for you to use the one that comes in a tube cream is made for you so that when you apply it it doesn't leave any residue or any white tissue looking stuff on your skin but the one that comes in and in the tin the ointment it leaves white stuff on your skin after applying it so that one is best you apply it in the night these two products have what it takes to actually get rid of your ringworm and this uh, pityriasis vascular it's like it will get rid of it in just few weeks just be consistent with it and you're going to get your results and these two products contain salicylic acid benzoic acid sulfur and zinc oxide so these are the key ingredients and the most active ingredient in this product and this is how you can use it to get the best results so what you have to do is to get an exfoliating sponge now what you have to do is to use a very good soap a very gentle soap and use it with the sponge and scrub like scrub that particular place that is affected scrub it really really well and then you rinse if your towel is not neat please allow your skin to air dry by itself and once it is dry then you apply um, any of this uh, product that you can get the one that comes in a tin that is the ointment is sold for 500 naira in the pharmacy and this one the cream that is in a in a tube form in a tube container 
is sold for 900 naira in the pharmacy they they usually have the two so anyone that you want to go for you just go for it but hey let me tell you something the one that comes in a tin eh if you are not an expert in opening some kind of um product you will not know how to open this one because it is very very stubborn like you keep battling with it until you get tired and frustrated so what you will do is to use a kitchen knife to like just use the pointed part of a kitchen knife to just put it at a tin and then you flip it open and then it will open okay i hope this video was helpful to you and if if you did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more skincare videos okay lucci cares bye guys